So Google Classroom has recently come out with a couple of updates and the main one that I want to discuss today is how to assign individual assignments to students or groups of students. It's a really powerful, nice tool that allows you to individualize education for your students while not cluttering up their feed um, and really personalizing everything for them. Uh, so what you're going to do is go down to the add button just like you would do with a normal assignment. Click on assignment, question, whatever, but I'm going to stick to assignment. Um, and you'll notice that inside of here, there's an all students option now. Before that was blank, you just have the periods or the classes and put in your stuff. Uh, so I'm just going to title this one test and I'm going to go to the drop down and I'm going to unselect all students and all of them will be unselected. And I'm just going to select one or two students here. So I'm going to select my first two students and let's say that they're really far ahead of where they need to be. Uh, so I can give them a individual assignment or something extra to do or something on top of or in the case of a student who's behind, I can give them some more remedial work to help get them caught up or some more structured content to help scaffold things better for them. Uh, so I have that. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about any instructions, due date, topic, or anything like that for right now. And I'm gonna leave the assignment blank just because it's an example. But you would go through and do it normally like you would with any other thing inside of Google Classroom. I'm gonna click assign at this point. And it's gonna go through and create the uh, assignment for my students. And you can see that it's updated now and I have two students. Instead of the 27 that are in my class, I have two of them have it done because I've only assigned that to two students. Now, as a teacher, you're gonna to have to be careful that you don't assign different things to different students or too many things to two students or repeat things. Um, so it's gonna take a little work on that end of things, uh, but as far as being able to give custom content to your students or to a small group of students or to an individual student, this is a fantastic step. The next thing I would love to see Google do to improve on this is to allow grouping or to have the same assignment and kind of allow you to automatically update and change and do things so that you can go through there. One other thing that's really nice is that if you, let's say you forgot a student or you added an extra student that you didn't mean to, you can go back into edit and change the amount of students or the students that are getting the assignment. So I'm going to click on the little drop down here, I'm going to go to edit and where it says four and it's set to two students, I can go back up and I can change the number of students that are getting access to this assignment. So it's a really nice, powerful tool for Google Classroom, for teachers, and it's nice for students as well because you can really individualize and help give exact information to the students as they need it. Google's doing a great job listening to feedback to, from teachers like us, and uh, this is just something I'm really, really excited about. I hope to catch you in a future video.